Educational research. Now let me explain educational research. Uh, educational research is, uh, you know, the kind of research uh, which is uh, one way or the other related to our uh, educational system, right? We may be exploring education from uh, teaching and learning point of view. We may be discussing education and exploring education or various aspects of education in terms of, uh, you know, a policy dialogue or in terms of a process, right? So educational research is when we want to improve uh, the, you know, the context of education and we want to solve uh, educational problems, right? So that is educational research. Um, educational research is uh, basically when you want to influence or when your research work is based on, uh, on influencing uh, educational theories or educational uh, practices or educational paradigms. So you are doing educational research. Um, educational research is uh, basically uh, possible uh, at a library even when, we, when you uh, are trying to uh, explore, uh, let's say, the educational policy of a country or of a society, and you want to explore uh, those, you know, uh, policies which uh, uh, previous governments uh, have been devising and you want to evaluate them, right? So that is one possibility. And uh, you want to, you know, solve problems, educational problems, because the, the focus of educational research uh, is always uh, uh, a sort of uh, educational problem, right? So that is very much possible in a library, right? And then educational research can also be carried out within field, right? Uh, like for example, you want to improve the examination system of uh, Pakistan. So you would definitely be going for uh, some um, data collection from the field. You may be visiting schools, you may be visiting colleges or universities, and you, you need data, uh, first-hand data, from the field also, because you may be interviewing teachers and you may be collecting questionnaires from students, right? So educational research is a research which is possible not only within library, but this is also possible within field and it could be a field research as well. Um, the point of focus might be educational philosophy, right? Like uh, the educational you know, philosophy in a society that what goals were the, you know, the ultimate goals were the objective of a uh, in educational uh, policy or educational philosophy, like the role of education in, in, you know, in democracy, for example, the role of education in literacy, uh, further spreading literacy, right? So there are uh, possibilities that you may be exploring educational philosophy uh, as the part of your educational research. And educational research could also be comprising of uh, educational curriculum. Uh, you may be improving previously existing curriculum, or you may be, you know, uh, um, just uh, evaluating the already existing curriculum for various, uh, you know, levels of uh, schooling or maybe various levels of uh, college education, right? So that's very much possible that you may be developing a new curriculum or you may be uh, evaluating the already existing curriculum, right? Like, for example, what competencies and what skills are supposed to be uh, taught to students uh, at a particular grade, let's say matriculation level, okay? So at matriculation level, when you would definitely explore the contents or the books, the textbooks given to the students, you may be evaluating them in terms of the educational policy given by the government, right? So for, for such kind of research, you are exploring educational curriculum or you may be developing educational curriculum. Then educational research may be also be focusing on on something related to learning and teaching. It may be from learner's point of view, or it may be from a teacher's perspective, right? So uh, the point is that you want to improve the learning and teaching uh, practices, the learning and teaching context, right? So that is ultimately the, the focus of uh, educational research, or that could be uh, one objective of uh, you know, educational research. Uh, we have another example of educational research when we would like to uh, explore uh, teacher education, right? Because teacher education is one important element of uh, the education of a country. Like, for example, the impact of uh, pre-service trainings, right, for teachers, maybe, at any level. It could be at primary level or it could be at elementary level, or you may be exploring it at uh, college level or secondary, higher secondary, college level or university level, right? So teacher education may be one, you know, uh, type of research which comes under educational research. And then we also have 
uh, within uh, teacher education or uh, teacher training, we may also be uh, ex exploring the, uh, the behavior of teachers. Like how do they approach students, okay? Or the difference between uh, trained and untrained teachers' behaviors towards students, right? That could be one topic for, uh, you know, uh, educational research. Or the point is that you may be uh, discussing uh, something related to teachers' behavior, like how do they see um, the, the, their own uh, image as teacher? Like what is their own identity um, as the part of their educational, uh, you know, um, behavior, right? So that could be done within educational research. And educational research may also be influencing um, uh, things or issues related to administration and supervision, like how uh, an effective administrative system could be, uh, you know, devised for primary schools, maybe. Like uh, recently, the government started uh, inspecting um, primary schools in, in uh, one of the province of the country, like in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, the previous government, they started a very solid monitoring system. So if you want to explore this monitoring system, you are actually doing your educational research, right? And then it could be related to supervision also. It may be academic supervision. It may be administrative supervision. Or it may be, you know, um, the uh, supervision by bureaucracy in the country, right? So that could be the part of your educational research. Then we can also um, focus on the application of technology in our education system, right? So educational technology like how is technology incorporated in a classroom? What is the impact of that technology incorporation in our classroom, right? And what are those shortcomings? What are those problems which are faced by teachers when the technology is incorporated and the teachers are not fully prepared, right? So you can also visit such topics, such issues, which are the part of the educational system. And you can also uh, do your research uh, when you want to explore the impact created by education, right? Educational implication, right? Or any research which is uh, connected to the, you know, the effectiveness of education, right? That could be the part of your educational research. And ultimately, you are focusing on the significance of education in the society. So you are doing educational research. Uh, since it is an umbrella term, educational research, you may be, you know, uh, blending various types of researches into this educational research because educational research may be quantitative, it may be qualitative, right? It may be in terms of the history of education, so historical aspect of research may be adding up, or you may be working on, uh, on a research topic which is, uh, you know, based on the, uh, the postulates of action research because you are concerned with the problems faced by practitioners, okay? So you may be adding up various, you know, tools, various techniques, and you would be blending up within, uh, within your research design, which is focused on any aspect of education, that is educational research.